What's going on everybody? Right now we are at the mall and we're gonna be going over summer essentials you guys need in your wardrobe. Sure. We're also gonna be throwing in some fashion tips and tricks as well. Let's get in there. All right guys, so summertime, definitely play around with those different fabrics. I'm talking silk right here on the shirts. Mm -hmm. You can get like towel shorts like this. You but know what the I mean? most important thing is the fit. You want that mm. flowy vibe, the boxy vibe. I see what you're saying. Because you know, you know, like iteration, you know, yeah, it's like, hot out there. You're saying like a silk shirt like that, if it's not drop shoulder, if it's more proper cut, it's exactly. not gonna come across like laid back, you know? Yeah. One thing that I've been liking is really doubling up uh, swim trunks as regular everyday shorts. Like something like this, you know, with the uh, little cut right here on the side area. I feel like swim trunks used to have like the most uncomfortable netting part in the uh, crotch area, but now they make them pretty comfortable. They're not as tight. They're a little bit looser. These are really cool right here. Kind of like a aqua slate blue. 17 bucks here at Forever 21. I was getting a lot of flack from you guys for that Coachella video of me wearing the mesh shirt. But I want to let you guys know, this is what's hot right now. I feel like brands like ALD yes. have really, really did a great job of rolling this type of look out yes. without it being you know, too risky. All right guys, so we just had Tan try on the knitted polo right here, AKA the ALD cheaper alternative. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Looks good. Look, at the end of the day, I don't have anything like this in my closet, mm -hmm. but I don't feel out of my element. Exactly, I, I don't exactly. feel like I'm doing too much. If people see me rocking this, they're not gonna question, why are you wearing it? Yeah, it looks really nice actually. And um, you can rock this with Jordan Wines, you can rock these with New Balances, and it's all gonna work out, man. So Definitely recommend this style when it comes to summer pieces. Yes, sir. All right, so I just found this at Forever 21, about 10 bucks. Have you seen uh, John Elliott with these? Every they time been... they drop, they always sell out. It's basically like an essential baseball cap. Yeah, I'm surprised that John Elliott sells out of them every time that they drop, especially their washed black color, down to like a uh, light khaki right here. So definitely you do not need to spend the high ticket price on true, the John true. Elliott version. This is pretty much the same thing. So you guys know I'm huge on cars. I've been noticing a lot of like car companies working with clothing brands recently. We got a Land Rover collaboration right here. Pretty clean. Gonna try this polo on right now. I've always been a sucker for the uh, kind of like forest green polo look. Excuse me, sir. Can you bring me the car on the lot? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you get it washed or uh, what? <laughs> yeah, washed. Thanks. All right, so one thing when it comes to the summertime are patchwork shorts. If you're used to kind of wearing like plain shorts, plain top, patchwork shorts is definitely gonna make your outfit a little bit more exciting. You got different panels. Sometimes they come with different fabrics. This one here is different colors in corduroy. I mean, at the end of the day, it's definitely not gonna make your outfit look boring. So definitely highly recommend patchwork shorts. I never thought I'd see the day that they have the Ralph Lauren polo shirt right here. Even carried at PacSun 10. Did you? We used to like wait at Macy's for these things. You know, these still have a special place in my heart because I used to collect them. They do, they do. You know, you, so. Hey, Tan's go to was the polo bear shirt with the Supreme Camp cap. Oh man. And maybe was, some AJK01. I might have to bring that back. I might have to bring that look back. But dude, I'm actually happy to see that these are in PacSun. Yeah. You know, because yeah. at one point they were kind of like rare to find. How do you guys feel about essentials when it comes to the shorts having this super short inseam right here on the crotch area? It's tricky. It's tricky, man. It could come off a little bit uh, skirt-like. Mm, I would like say a more, kilt. more like a kilt. <laughs> yep, kilt. More yeah. a kilt, man. I wish they would just cut this a little bit further and then they would be Gucci, but yeah. Cut, yep. cut, perfect. Cut is perfect, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying about the, the crotch area. I have to say, I was not expecting those Chicago Bulls vintage style here. Nick's vintage, the quality on this is actually really nice too. And it has that vintage feel with the distress. Yeah, the one thing you guys could expect from Abercrombie is their pieces are ultra, ultra soft. You know, like when it comes to yeah. vintage, some of the stuff is a little bit more rough. like rough, Yeah. but their stuff is like, literally feels like a blanket. It already broken in. Yo, one thing that's one of my favorite pieces when it comes to the summer are floral button ups. Abercrombie now has a relaxed fit. So even if it's a little too small, you can always go size up to get that boxy look. But look, just this little line right here, the little design right here makes it seem like it's not from the gift shop, you know? 
you want to make sure that when it comes to the floral shirts, it doesn't look like you're going to like a like a little little cruise on Hawaii or something like a that. Luau. Yeah, a little luau. That's a really good point. You're saying this part right here kind of differentiates it from yeah. being like a, a touristy shirt. Exactly. Yeah. One thing I gotta say, man. Remember I mentioned the uh, swim trunks from Abercrombie? Yeah. Their inside lining is so comfortable. Like literally, it feels like an athletic pair of shorts. That's very true. Yeah. So we're used to the regular traditional mesh that sometimes it be kind of you know crawling up the uh, heebie-jeebies. You know <laughs> what I mean? Sure. All right. I'm not gonna lie. Abercrombie is taking notes. These look exactly like the John Elliott. Uh, they, I think they call them the AAU practice shorts, but these look exactly like it, down to the floral print, down to the high cut as well. I'll pop up a photo, but yeah, definitely they're taking notes. One thing I would definitely recommend when it comes to raw hem t-shirts is if you're gonna go raw hem, you gotta go raw all the way, all right? So you see how it's raw here in the pocket, raw at the bottom, but something about the finished collar kind of just throws it off. I wish this was um, unfinished as well. So for Abercrombie, maybe they might've missed the mark on this one. Johnny, I don't know, either I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the mark on this one 100%, or you might be a little offended, okay? I, I'm not 100% sure. How I feel about this, Rich? What you got? I, got, I, got, I found these and they, I just um, immediately thought of you. Go ahead. Bam! These are, these are kind of neat. That's kind of, I can see you on the close. water with these, bro. Man, the thing that I love about it is that it's... Bro, it matches your nails. It does, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, it does come up a little feminine, more on the feminine side, I would say. Thought you However, were Fruity Pebbles. It, it, <laughs> this, this is this is more lucky charms. This, got it, this got is it, more got lucky it, got charms. It. All right, you but, pulling these off, yay or nay? Yay, yay. I pull, I pull whatever I want off. <laughs> yeah, now I want see. you guys to have that confidence. All right, this is get a nice dark color shirt on. You know we're gonna be on the lake this summer, summer so this, I'm, I'm, I want to see you in those. Get wild for the summertime, boys. It's okay. Earlier I was talking about the whole knitted thing. Man, they definitely have some really cool colors. I recently picked up this polo right here, but in navy. Um, but yeah, this sage green right here is pretty clean as well. Price point isn't like super cheap, but I would say worth it. Abercrombie overall is quality. We're looking at 60 bucks for a knitted peak polo like this one right here. So earlier in Paxson, we saw the Land Rover collaboration. Here at Uniqlo, they have the Jeep and then the Volkswagen, um, which one are you picking? Rich, come on, man. I was thinking with the outdoors theme, I'm gonna go with Jeep, because I feel like the color palettes is better mm, when associated yeah. with Jeep. Volkswagen, I just can't, never, I never got that Volkswagen, man. Got it, got it, man, not a little beetle. No, 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 I'm right. a Jeep guy, I'm a Jeep guy. Inflation at its finest right here, these used to be 14 bucks. We're looking at $19.90 now for the uh, Supima Cotton t-shirts. All good though, they are still quality. Worth it. I was gonna say, still worth it. They're super soft. They get these way over the, uh, there's a cheaper uh, t-shirt that they offer, I think for like 10 bucks, mm -hmm. but the Supima Cotton feels like the butter best. on the skin. It's clouds on your body. All right guys, so here at Uniqlo for $29.90, not bad for these uh, ACG type shorts. Kind of like a reinforced ripstop material, functional as well. They are waterproof, so definitely look into these. They have a ton of colors. All right guys, I know it looks like I'm uh, serving a dessert tray but it's actually a tray of socks right here. Um, all jokes aside, a lot of people have been rocking these type of socks with like the whole New Balances, uh, you know, the 550s, even the uh, protection pack and everything. It's just, it's just a nice switch up from your regular all white crew sock. You're gonna get the knitted look. There's also other textures and mm -hmm. of course the colors. One thing that I've been looking into lately are other brands' uh, athletic offerings as far as their shorts, their shirts and everything. Yeah, because I don't know, something about just wearing entirely Nike it's not the move anymore. I, I want to try out other people's like materials exactly, and different technology. Exactly. Because look, look, at the end of the day, you're going to rock some nice, comfortable shoes and stuff like that on Nike. Exactly. You know, they're exactly. going to be another off brand. So. Yeah, I just bought the uh, APLs. There you go. I saw those on Instagram a lot and I was like, Fire. man, what are those? Price point was a little bit steep, but I feel like you could double them up as just everyday shoes and gym shoes, true, running true. shoes. And going off that, I feel like these type of shorts that Unico offers kind of reminds me of like, Kind of Lululemon vibes. Yeah, yeah, for you know? sure. Lululemon is the one brand that I felt like you could rock with non, you know, non, exactly just like the non-Nike look, right? Yeah. But the athletic department at Uniqlo is really, really mm -hmm. stepped up. The colors are really nice. Like even like gray right there on the right side is something I would definitely pick up. Do not sleep on the Uniqlo athletic department. Um, Airism has been a technology that they have been developing for years, and I would and say it's, only, it's a one. And you only used to see them on only their T-shirts. Yeah. Now you kind of see them on all the other pieces. Literally right here on their pants, moisture wicking, and all. That. You guys know me, accessory king, right? Because we don't have the hair. Look, so we always talk about the hats as good accessories, but 
don't sleep on glasses. I've noticed over the years, it doesn't even have to be sunglasses anymore. Look at the variety of glasses that they have here for you. You could go uh, extra point dexter to something more sophisticated if you want to, right? So I'll say for the summertime, sunglasses are great, obviously, but if you wanna just showcase something a little bit different, something lighter style, boom, nice accessory for any outfit. Every time you stop by the mall, you gotta go by Auntie Anne's and take a little sniff. You ain't gonna buy it, they take a little sniff. I think I'm okay, maybe, maybe, okay. Maybe, maybe another time, maybe another time. Wow, the wow. discipline. He's a changed man. I've never seen that in my entire life, New ever. year, new me. All right guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys like this video, it helps us out a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Leave down in the comments below if there are any other fashion videos that you guys would like to see. If we pick your guys' idea, we will definitely shout you guys out. Make sure you guys check out our social media in the description box below. And that's pretty much it. I'm out!